I start, let me go ahead and say that this story dramatically ends with me being escorted out of the school by a police officer. <laughs> and I was only in the seventh grade, so <laughs> let's just get into it. Hey y'all, it's your girl TK and I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be a story time about how I got kicked out of middle school. I did a poll on my Instagram asking y'all which story time y'all wanted first. If y'all wanted to see the story time on how I crashed my grandma's car or how I got kicked out of middle school. And you guys voted for me getting kicked out of middle school first. So, let's see my ash in <laughs> So if you want to hear the story time stay tuned but before that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can know when i post a new story time period before i start let me go ahead and say that this story dramatically ends with me being escorted out of the school by a police officer <laughs> and i was only in the seventh grade so <laughs> let's just get into it so, i don't know let me give y'all a backstory so i don't know whether i would and i need a feeling so don't judge because i need to you know ladies when you got that certain nail tech or that certain nail tech that you go to you're not letting nobody else get in your nails and period you don't have to wait till i go home so basically the backstory i don't know or i can't remember if i was in therapy freshly started therapy or yeah like a newbie to therapy i want to say i was a newbie to therapy when i was in the seventh grade and i was going to this middle school that was just like really like bougie like it was bougie it wasn't all white kids but it was like a lot of white kids there and you know not a lot of black kids and i think you had to be like accepted to get into this middle school if i'm not mistaken like i want to say that you had to be accepted i'm not gonna say the name or nothing like that but i swear you had to be accepted. Like, this wasn't just like a normal public school i don't know i'm gonna say i was going through some stuff and shout out to everybody to go to therapy hmm, period it's not bad it actually helps like people are scared or be like you know you don't therapy, but it really helps anyway so yeah so i think i was going to therapy and my therapist had told me like you know start writing down how you feel blah 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 so i got a journal period and i take the journal with me everywhere because you know like you never know when you're going to start feeling some type of way you know what i'm saying like why would i wait till i get home anyway so fast forward i'm in school and i had beef with this girl of course like y'all when i was younger all the girls hated me i don't know why like i was so cool too like cool with the girls cool with the guys cool with everybody like i was just chill and they hated on me for that so yeah basically this girl that mm, i went to school she know what i mean we're gonna call this girl maya we're gonna call her maya and if you know her real name then you know that it's really close to her real name and period like i really should go ahead and say her real name but i'm not going to but anyways so her name was maya and maya didn't like me which is crazy because like everybody who didn't like me always started off liking me like they always liked me either they started off liking me first then didn't like me over something stupid or they just never gave me the chance to you know be cool show them how cool i was and then they just straight up just decided oh i don't like her and then you know literally on the road liked me because period like i said i am cool like i'm who everybody likes like i was just popular like that so yeah so of course it was a dude involved like i think that she hung around this boy that I don't know if I was like dating him or like he liked me or whatever and I liked him something like that anyway so I think that me and the dude was like texting and stuff like that and she was like you know the girl that always hangs around that dude but he's not stunting her because she's not really that cute or he just see her as a best friend you know what I'm saying like so it was just like that type of situation like she was hanging around him all the time you know probably flirting and like trying her hardest to shoot her shot and then he she went over here period so I can understand why she was mad but I mean what you want me to do about that? Why are you mad at me? Why are you not mad at him? But anyway, so I can't remember exactly how to be started, but I know I had something to do with him. And she just didn't like me, of course. And so, like, we would be, like, getting into it or whatever. Or, like, I think it was like, on social media, like, going back and forth. I don't know. I don't really can't remember. All I remember is that she had made it clear and known to, like, all the faculty at the school that I didn't like her. And I'm just like, 
okay anyways so anytime I had an issue like I said I would write it under my book so I had wrote down you know like everything that I was feeling by this girl my mom had read the book too I never wrote anything like crazy in this book and so this was a journal you know that my therapist told me to write in but of course it had like spiral into something else so yeah basically this girl i don't even know how she found out i had a book or a journal that i was writing in but she found out that i had a journal and reported me to the principal and was like that i wrote in the journal that i wanted to kill her what so you know me i get called down to the principal's office or whatever and she's like asking me about my journal like um let me see the book whatever da, 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 da. like we hear that you making threats stuff like that and so like we had this new principal and she was just like i don't know i didn't like her she got on my nerves i didn't i just wasn't feeling her and i'm not even gonna lie when i was in seventh grade i was just like bad <laughs> like that's the only way i can put it i was bad bro i was bad and so my lips are weird because I don't have on a gloss, I have on lipstick. I like it. But it feels weird because I usually have on a gloss. But anyway, so, yeah. But like I said, so yeah, I was bad. And like, when we got in the office and she was telling me like, oh, she said that you said that you was going to kill her in this book and this and that. And we're going to jump in the and da da Oh, that lady straight her face when I said, if I wanted to kill her, I would kill her. Like, do y'all think I'm really that crazy where I'm writing down that I'm going to kill this girl? I'm just going to do it. Like what no wrong girl y'all see the color of my skin wrong race no like no not to say that there's not any crazy black people but like it's not usually us who write down and plan how we're gonna kill we always caught up in some mess and then end up in jail no it's the others y'all that be you know planning it out like it's sick but anyway so i'm in the office or whatever she asked to see my journal and I'm just like, what? Like, you know, I'm feeling like, no, nah, I don't want her to see this journal. Not because there's anything bad in there, but like, these are my feelings. And of course in the book, I ain't even gonna lie. So in the book, like I said, my mom both read this book and it was like, I was calling girls a hoe. Like, oh, she's a hoe. Oh, she did, she that, she get on my nerves and she fake, you know, like kitty stuff because I, like I said, I'm in middle school. So she's reading it and of course it's just like, Oh my god, this is just so crazy. I can't believe you were writing these things. So, of course, she, like, confiscated my journal and was like, here, here, I have to pick it up, blah, blah, blah. So, I think my mom was having a meeting with the principal, and she had to, like, get my book or whatever. And my mom was, like, disappointed in me. But, I mean, like, it wasn't nothing, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it was nothing crazy in this book. So, I just go on about my day. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you know, I'm mad about this. And days go by, so like I'm mad, like you didn't got my journal confiscated. Like this book became known as a burn book, you know, from a uh, freaking Mean Girls. Like I was known as the biggest Mean Girl of the school. The teachers were scared of me. The students feared me, so they say. But I had friends, so how's everybody scared of me? I never wrote that I was gonna kill this girl in this book, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I'm just going on about my life. And when I was in middle school, just like, you know, a few blacks. And then I could count on my hand how many black people that I hung out with. And then, it, like I said, it was either white or Indian or Asian because this is a freaking top notch middle school. So yeah, anyway, so like, like I said, those are people that I hung out with. So I just remember fast forwarding a couple of days go by, I'm in school, I'm in freaking science class and i'm sitting at my table with my friends and we just laughing and giggling blah 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 you know like i didn't like my science teacher and she didn't like me but it was very clear that we didn't like each other and i did whatever i wanted in her class i didn't care and so we're sitting in class next thing i know the principal walks in the door and she comes and like y'all i'm sitting at my desk i'm sitting at my desk like this so like i don't know if i'm paying attention to the class or if i'm not but I just remember sitting at my desk and the principal comes in with a police officer and like smacks all my stuff off the desk and is trying to figure out if I have this journal. So like, I feel like I had a lot of like, you know, patience and I was very like calm in the situation. Cause I'm just like, lady, you done smacked all my dad on books on my desk. Like I should smack you. So yeah, like I said, they began searching through my books. They like smacking my books at the onto the ground or she is not the police officer he just standing there as if i'm gonna attack her or something like that like that's what they want you to do that's what they want little black kids to do so then they could have arrested me but no i'm just like 
taking it all in because I'm like, y'all think I'm crazy? Y'all really about to see crazy. And just wait till I tell my mama. So yeah, so I'm sitting across from my white friend and then diagonal from me is my Indian friend. And I think that they took my phone and like they would just like get up and like come with us or whatever. So like I'm being escorted out of class by the principal and a police officer. Like this is real dramatic over at Dangon Journal. And so like I said, y'all didn't stop my books to the ground. My books is on the ground. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with these people calmly because like Y'all yeah, really in for a treat. So I just remember as I'm leaving, like I said, I ain't got my phone, I tell my friend, call my mom, like right now. Call my mama. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So let me bag it up. As all this is going on, I had already been hearing buzzing, like, you know, like people used to talk in middle school all the time. So I said, I was already hearing buzzing, like, oh, the girl, Maya, because like, like I said, we had beef. So she didn't involve her mom and her, her sister and her beef, her grown behind sister. So her mom and her sister, I had been hearing buzzing that day there in lunch because like during this like science class that I had, like this is my lunch period too. So I had been hearing that, you know, they there and they in the cafeteria and they, they trying to, they looking for me. They, they want to find me. Like her mom, and her sister want to fight me, which I think is like crazy. Like two grown behind women going to try to fight me. But you know, me, I almost get enough. Like I said, I was bad. So I'm just like, yeah, like, you know, whatever. So like I said, when I got escorted out of class, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is crazy right now. Like, all right. Mm -hmm. So I tell my friends who call my mom. And when I tell y'all I was upstairs and by the time I got downstairs to the office, my mom was in that office. Like I knew that I lived like 15 minutes away from the school. Like, I was just thinking in my head, like, what in the heck? Like, how did she get here this fast? So, like I said, I get downstairs to the office. My mama there, my cousin there, like, my cousin mom. And I'm just like, yeah, it's about to go down because y'all got the wrong one. Y'all got the wrong one. I'm downstairs in the office, and my mom just trying to figure out, like, why y'all didn't search my daughter. And, like, I don't know what my friends were on the phone, but my friends was down. Like, them was some ride or die friends. Like, I just know they was on the phone. Like, we had some content. They just escorted them stuff. They came out of the class. They threw her stuff on the floor. And we need you to get here right now because Naya and her mom and her sister are here, and they're trying to fight her. Like, all my mom needed to hear was get here right now. Get here now, and baby girl was there. I'm just thinking, like, oh, I got a super mom. Like, she didn't come here, like, 30 seconds, bro, and... I'm just blown. Like, so I get down there and I'm see my mom and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all done got the right one because Big Bang Vonti is here. Like, y'all done messed up. My mom is here. And my mama is Teacher G and that's just done on that, period. But yeah, so mom's like, my mom is here. And of course, they're like having a meeting or whatever. And I don't remember my mom and my uh sister's godmom so my cousin's mom end up going into the office and having a meeting with her. And like, my sister's godmom she was like a teacher at that time so she in the system and she's like telling running it running it by y'all everything y'all done did wrong because she know the system you know what i'm saying so the girl maya's mom and sister are there as well so i think they end up all going into a meeting or they had separate meetings i don't know exactly because like i said i wasn't there i got released back to class or whatever or i got released to lunch honey so like i said i get to lunch and crazy thing is me and this girl we sat like at tables like okay so in our lunchroom it was like tables and rows like this and then in the back of our cafeteria it was like tables and rows like this so you got tables like this across the front and then our tables are like going like this in the back and so like i said i sat at a table right here and her table sits right behind me which is crazy and she's in the class with the boy that all of this is over like you done made all this raw raw about this boy and he don't want you baby girl so yeah, so switch our little setup up, but I'm sitting on the side that is closest to their table because that's where I always sat and baby girl, y'all ain't not putting up fear in my heart. Like I'm going to sit where I always sat at. I don't care. And so across from me is my Indian friend and, um, diagonal from me is my white friend. And I don't remember who I really should not be calling them by their race. That's crazy. Um, but I don't want to use their name. So period, but just not it was right or not. It's period. So yeah, so like we're sitting at the table and they already know what happened because obviously they was there. So I'm just sitting there and so the girl like that the girls table they came into lunch like afterwards or whatever, but they were I think they were already sitting down, like I said, because I was late to lunch. And so everybody's having their lunch and I'm sitting down talking to my friends, but like you know I'm not in the mood, so I'm just like talking like this, like yeah, da 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 because I kinda like it's a damper on my day, like 
y'all being extra and y'all came in the classroom and did all this in front of everybody my peers you know what i'm saying like this is the buzz of the day i'm sitting at the table and lo and behold girls just don't know when to stop they just keep egging people on like i'm saying so like if you thought that i had wrote in this book that i was going to kill you what makes you want to keep pushing me you know what i'm saying like if i said i'm gonna kill you what makes you think that i want to do it right now here right now today this time of the hour you know what i'm saying like why would you keep pushing me so i'm sitting at the table y'all and this girl's like sitting behind me like i said and she was sitting on the opposite side you know what i'm saying but then she moved to the side that was like close to me so now we're sitting back to back i can hear everything that's being said because she's talking loud and i didn't know that she switched until my friends told me because i knew that if i turned around and was looking over there it was going to upset me so i didn't say anything i didn't turn around look at her direction this is just all coming from my friend so she's sitting her friends and turn around the table it's crazy because the boy that she liked egged her on too and i'm just like yeah y'all don't know what she in for she in for a freaking treat but they had egged her on her head big her head was already big and her head extra big now and she had donkey teeth too and i probably said something about that when we was like beefing like girl you got donkey teeth like real life shrek donkey teeth like huh it was bad so donkey is sitting behind me and donkey just Talking it up, talking so much crap, like just going off at the mouth and getting louder with it or whatever. And I'm just sitting there and y'all, my leg is shaking because like when I start getting upset, my whole body, like I just start like feeling high. I started like shaking because I already know like it takes a lot for me to get mad. But when I'm getting mad, I already know that it's not going to be good. Like there's nothing good that's gonna come out of me getting mad like i get super like it's from zero to ballistic like you know what i'm saying like, i just get crazy so i'm just like my arms are crossed like this and my leg is shaking and i'm just sitting at the table and i'm just looking at my friends like and it's just silent and they're like, okay, okay I'm killer, please. I'm killer, please. I'm like, I'm killer, are you okay? They're asking me if I'm killer, please. Just ignore her, just ignore her. And I'm like, okay, I'm ignoring her. So the girl, like I said, she talking, talking, talking. Then she gets up and is over me. Like, I'm facing this way still, but she's over me. And she's like yelling and cussing. And I'm just sitting there. And I'm just sitting there. And she's just talking up a storm, screaming up a storm, cussing me out, calling me this and that and that. And I'm just sitting there like a psychotic person. And everybody's just like, oh, she's crazy, she's crazy. When this girl move, we just already know. So like the whole lunch room at this point is just like, and my number one pet peeve is like, you are not going to punk me. You are not ever going to make me feel like I'm little and you're big. I don't care if you big and I'm an ant. Like, I don't care. You, you're not going to punk me. Like, it don't matter to me size, shape, height, um, race. Like, I don't care. Age. I don't care. Like, anybody's going to punk me. Like, if you respect me, I will respect you. But once respect on that woman, baby girl, it's liable that I'll say anything, do anything. Like, I don't care. So like I said, I'm sitting like this, my legs shaking, and she's over me yelling and screaming. And then like I just remember being there and like something just snapped. Like I'm calm and I'm just like, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna ignore her. Like just imagine somebody in your ear, like just cussing y'all and screaming, and you just like sitting there trying to ignore them. And I just remember that I was trying my hardest to ignore her and then something in my brain snapped. We had the lunch table, like, you know, now they probably have, like, the little circle seats, but we had benches. So, like, I'm sitting in a bench, and my legs are in the bench. So, like, you're yelling over me. Really, if she starts, like, hitting me or anything, like, I would be at a disadvantage. But I was not worried about that because, baby girl, I just knew, like, if we was to fight, I was going to fight like it was my last fight ever. Like, I was fighting for my life. That's how angry I was, like your mommy and sister now you okay i i just remember standing up from the table like if you know me you know that if i ever tell you stories about how i get mad or like anything like angry like that i automatically black out like i remember standing up from the table and we are like this like if i wanted to kiss her i could kiss her and we are just like going back and forth like at first like when i get up so like i said really when i stand up it shouldn't be no talking but really 
the girl, like I said, she liked me at first. And I don't like, like, this was going to be my first fight if we was to fight. And I don't like, you know, fighting. Like, that's not in me. And I never really wanted it to get to this, like, especially over a dude. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm trying to, like, give you the benefit of the doubt. So, now I'm about to cuss you out and drag you with everything I got in me. So, we going back and forth. And she just did it down. Like I said, she has donkey teeth. So, everything she's saying, this girl spitting. And so, I just remember landing on it. and I just remember just taking my whole hand and mushing her back and like she's like falling backwards and like had I don't know how the police got there but had the police officer not been there it would have been a done deal for her because like I said I took my whole hand and I mushed her like you know when somebody mushes your face and she was unexpected. Like, you were arguing. It was unexpected. Like, you done lost all your balance. She falls backwards. So, had the police officer not been there, I'm sure she would have tried to swing. And then I would have had to just wait. You know, wail on her. I would have had to whoop her. I would have had to whoop her. Mm. I'm not going to cuss. But I would have had to just beat her up. She would have took an L that day. So, like I said, I mushed her. And she falls backwards. And before I can do anything else, my hand that's being mushed is being put behind my back. And my arms are behind my back. And I'm just like what so i'm being escorted out of the cafeteria by a police officer as if i'm about to get arrested because i must her because she was in my face where was y'all at 10 minutes ago like this like went on for like for like 10 minutes maybe it was like five but this went on for a good minute like you know what i'm saying like we were arguing all of that so i'm confused as to how i'm being taken away because i am the one who initiated it when really that's not what happened so like i said i just remember being escorted out i don't remember nothing about her i don't remember anything like i just remember being escorted out like i was going to go to jail and if i was going to jail that would have been following me because at this point like y'all had not really tried it and so like i said my principal didn't like me or whatever i think i remember going to the assistant principal's office and i'm sitting in there and like i feel stuff like this happens i don't like to talk like what is there to talk about y'all know what i did and if you're going to suspend me or you're going to give me ISS or you're going to like, you know what I'm saying? Let me go back to class. Like, what is there to talk about? So I'm just in there quiet. And I just remember them interrogating me, like trying to ask me. Like, what's going on at home? Are you having issues at home? And this and that. And I'm just like, no. Like, why y'all trying to make this something about my my black family at home like no you don't usually get into trouble like this you make good grades i know because i'm smart and because i never like i ain't never been really about the drama so i'm just like no that's not what it is this girl is a problem y'all just trying to make me the problem this i ain't the problem they told my mom that i told them that i had stuff going on at home like lying on me and i'm just like i never said that so you know my mom any black parent when we get mad or any parent period like you be lying and telling them stuff going on at home and this is why you acting out at school you know what i'm saying like you don't be lying on the family what the heck wrong with you that's how you get disowned. But yeah, they was lying on me, trying to make it like something that it's not. Like, this led to an even bigger meeting or whatever. And when it was all said and done, y'all, the principal asked me not to come back to the school because I was a threat to the school and I intimidated the students and I intimidated the teachers. And basically, I was just thinking like, pause, how do I intimidate 50, 60, 70, 80 year old own behind men and women like how am i intimidating grown people as a seventh grader everybody's intimidated everybody's scared of their lives so basically i wasn't allowed to come back to the school and it was just stupid but i was ready to get up out of there anyway so then i went and i'm going to a public middle school but it was just like crazy like the way the whole situation was treated the way they mistreated me you know what i'm saying like i was ready to go anyways but i'm just like I'm not going to want to go here anyways knowing that if I teachers is going to fall down to the flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's they fall for trying me all the freaking time. Like, they just thought that they was going to be able to just talk to me any kind of way. And I'm just like, no. Mama didn't raise me like that. Y'all got the wrong girl. Yeah, I mean, like, that's just really how it ended. Like, they thought they could tell me what to do and they couldn't, period. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the post notifications so that you can know when I post my next story time. And period, your girl is out. Mwah.